welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome for the first time if you are new. My name is Laura and I share all kinds of homemaking and motherhood videos here on my channel. I also love sharing about simple living and creating a home environment that is peaceful, not taken over by clutter and things like that. So I have been doing a series on simple living and I've been sharing some different decluttering videos and so that's what this video is. It is a part of that series and I shared a recent video where I decluttered, it wasn't a full house declutter but I went through a lot of the problem areas in our home and also shared some tips and tricks that I've picked up when it comes to decluttering and getting rid of things and just simplifying the things that we own. And in that video, I was planning to also declutter in the nursery and laundry room, but there was just so much footage. So I decided to save that for a separate video, which is what you are watching now. So for today, I am planning to focus just on the nursery. My son Danny is here with me. He's awake, he's just playing. So you might hear some noises in the background, but we have a lot of work cut out for us. So I'm hoping to get this done today, but we'll see if it takes a little bit longer, that's all right. I want to go through all of his clothes, the clothes that he has grown out of, the clothes that he has yet to wear that are too big. And I just wanna figure out a way to organize those things. I wanna go through all the bins, all the drawers in this room. We are expecting baby number two here soon. I know it's gonna be here before we know it. We're about halfway through. and. So so I'm really wanting to just get on some of these things because this space will be used for our new baby as well. So I really hope that you enjoy this video on my channel. I hope that my videos are encouraging and inspiring for you. That's why I started this channel a few months ago. I really want to share my own journey as a young mom. I have so much to learn <laughs> and I have learned so much already. And so these videos are by no means me just sharing what I think is the best way to do things. It is very much me learning and just taking you guys along with me for the ride. And in the process, I hope that you are encouraged. I'm at a little bit of a loss as to where to start, but I think a good place, which is kind of simple, is to start with these bins up here. So I'm gonna take them all down take everything pretty much out of them and see what we can declutter and organize. Oh, did you find something? <laughs> you can play with that. Why go through all this stuff? All right, so I have this bin that's just of like a bunch of shoes that are too big. And then in here, I have all of our manuals for, I don't know, like high chairs, the crib. So I'm thinking I can probably get rid of some of these and the rest I'm going to put downstairs in like our paper filing system. In here, I have a bunch of baby bottles. I might declutter some of these because we just didn't use them too much. I will definitely be hanging on to these though. And then in this bin is also just clothing that is still too big. So I'm gonna kind of reorganize some bins, I think, and we'll go from there. This might be a little interesting with little hands, but we'll just see how much we can get done. This is already feeling a little chaotic. We've got lots going on here, but I did find some things to declutter. So we just did not use these like baby led weaning spoons and forks, um, as well as these little toothbrushes we have not used and I don't think we will. So um, also these little bottles, I just don't think I need that small size. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Because I have these larger ones, I think I'll just hang on to a couple of these. And then also, all of these, I'm not even sure what these are, so <laughs> I don't think we need them. So this is basically what we're keeping, um, kind of some like breastfeeding stuff, some milk bags, and bottles. Okay, I have a bunch of user manuals. 
I just don't think we need all these. I still have like all of my pump instructions. All this stuff you can look up online. This is just paper clutter to me. I don't need this. These are all things for like attaching our baby monitor and different screws and stuff for different attachments like for our crib and things. And these I do want to hang on to, but I'm going to put them downstairs in our filing cabinet. And then all of these I don't need, so we get to recycle those and that feels so good to get rid of all this. I found this carrier up in the closet. I did use it when Danny was little. But it wasn't my favorite. I just got it on Marketplace. It was a super great deal. So I think I'm going to let go of this one. And I did actually find a different one that is just better suited that I think I will really enjoy for this next baby. So we're going to say goodbye to this. I did just grab a box from the garage to put our items to declutter. I also have all of these um, like foam mat edging pieces. Danny would just keep taking these off. So I'm just going to toss them, our mat in our living room. It just doesn't have the border, so it doesn't look quite as complete, but like he was just always taking them off and they were getting everywhere. So it's just kind of a pointless thing to have. And we found a super cool truck up in the closet. That's so fun. Good job. Okay, things are a little bit hectic over here. I think I'm going to go through this bin. So what my thoughts are, I have these two bins over here, which is just filled to the brim with clothes that don't fit anymore. But I'm thinking I want to use these for clothes that are too big because over here in these boxes, I have some hand-me-downs that were given to us. So I also need to go through these and also find a place for them. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit like I don't know where to go from here. It's a little bit overwhelming because I don't know, I don't really have a system. And I know that anything I like pull out, like it would be great to put all the clothing in piles, but I know that Danny will probably just throw them everywhere. So once Silas gets home, I might see if he could watch him for like 20 or 30 minutes just so I can do that. But for now, let's go through. This big basket is like blankets and textile things. I don't know if there's anything in here to declutter, but I would love to, oh yeah, okay, random tissues, that's gross. Um, I would love to just see if there's anything we can part with. Alright, so in the bottom of this basket here, I just have some burp cloths. I will definitely keep these for the next baby. As well as like a little diaper changing pad. I'll probably use this like in the living room or something. I want to hang on to it just in case I use it. And then I have this sleep sack. This is a small. It's the halo kind, which I love, but I know like for the newborn, we use the halo sleep swaddle. So I don't know if we'll use this. So I think we'll declutter that as well as this is a ring sling that I tried with Danny. Um, it just wasn't a good fit i just did not enjoy how it fit and like i said i have a different carrier that i like i feel like carriers and stuff are there's so many <laughs> are you having fun over there he's loving that truck there's so many different styles and i feel like everyone likes something different so it kind of takes a while to figure out what works but i think i have one that i'm gonna love so i will let someone else have that and this okay we're just adding to our box i love adding to the decluttering box it feels so good okay let me bring you guys a little closer okay so then i have a bunch of swaddles i can't say that i used all these with danny this one this is my favorite this is a mushy one um and it's got these little sailboats so we don't know if we're having a boy or a girl yet we'll find out in a couple of weeks which I'm so excited. <laughs> this one I got, but it's a little bit more of a pink. This one is also mushy, organic cotton. So I will definitely keep these ones. And then I have this one that is maybe or maybe, maybe. I don't know how to say so many of these brands. 
maybe baby i don't know how do you say that this one's nice and stretchy i don't think we used it much but you never know i might use swaddles more with this baby danny didn't really care to be swaddled too much so i think we'll keep this one for now and i do remember they were also super helpful to put like over our snuggle me just as kind of an extra um barrier like if there was a little accident or spit up or something and then i would also even just use these as like a burp cloth and i would keep one in the diaper bag and so they are pretty versatile oh this one has some stains that's too bad okay maybe i'll see if i can get those out i would love to know if anyone has suggestions for <laughs> stains that are like set already is there any hope is there any way to get those out let me know and then i also have this one which we use this one a lot too and it's neutral so if this baby's a girl you know we can use it for her as well hi buddy this baby will be here in some of the colder months so having this oh this is so cozy will be great you use this one a lot you love this baby <laughs> Is that so cozy? Yeah. And then these ones, I have that one. And this one we used so much with Danny in the summer because they're just nice and light, which, yeah, this baby would probably use them in the summer too or like in the spring when it's warmer. So I will also keep these. <laughs> you like that blanket? This is our car seat cover nursing cover um so i will keep this we don't use it right now but we will again these blankets i think were all gifts for danny and then he has one that he does sleep with so we'll definitely keep these um and i'm sure one of them will become this next baby's like little special blanket eventually so we will fold these up i do love having blankets just for laying on the couch or putting baby in we use them like obviously in the car seat if we're going for like a walk in the stroller and especially because this baby will be again they'll get some of the colder months okay that looks good it's a little bit lighter in here oh I forgot that one <laughs> <Big -a -boo. laughs> okay it does not take much <laughs> i didn't even see this one almost this is a beautiful quilt that a sweet friend of ours from church um stitched when danny was born it is so special it's so sweet i did have it downstairs um as a bit of a play or in different areas around the home i've used it as kind of a little play mat so we'll definitely hang on to this one. This is special. I've wondered if I could like display it somehow. I'm not really sure. For now, we'll keep it in here. We're taking a little bit of a lunch break in the fall time. One of my absolute favorite things to make is tomato soup and grilled cheese. So that's what we've got going on here. This is such a filling and easy meal. There we go. And over here we got our soup. I just roast tomatoes, a pepper, a jalapeno. I will put in an onion and a whole head of garlic. And then I just use my immersion blender to blend that all together. It's so delicious. You can also add like chicken broth if you want it more soupy or even a little bit of heavy cream that makes it nice and creamy. I really want to make more soups this year. I find it's such a great way to get a bunch of veggies like this tomato soup is literally just like veggie puree. I would love to do a butternut squash soup, maybe even try a pumpkin soup. Well, it is a little bit later in the afternoon and it is nap time, so I have some time to myself. I thought I would use it to go through these clothes that are too big. Most of these are like 3T, even 4T. I have a little <laughs> afternoon pick me up, a little frozen coffee that is giving us some energy to continue on. I think what I'm gonna do is just go through all of these. There's this box and then there's also, you can't see it, but there's another whole box, um, all of clothes and shoes. I'm struggling a bit to 
know the best way to organize it. I think the best course of action is to just organize by size, but I'm tempted to organize by size and season. <sighs> It's always a struggle let me know if you have a system that works for your kids do you organize by season do you just keep it simple and organize by size and then where do you even put those things because i'm also struggling to know because he won't use these probably for a couple years so they should probably just go like away in storage so i might actually vacuum seal them i have some bags in the nursery that i can get if need be but for now maybe i'll i'll think on that and uh start sorting out the different sizes of 2t as well so i am thinking that i will use bags for like warm clothes and like summer clothes i just think that will make my life easier down the road because some of these things he'll probably wear next summer and then next winter so it would be easy to just have those already in bags maybe the 3t and there's not too much 4t stuff yet maybe i will put those just in their own bag i don't know we'll see let's just keep going <laughs> here I'm gonna organize into like winter and summer things and then from there I'm gonna see if there's like some duplicates of some things because I was noticing a lot of sweatshirts and we probably just don't need all of them so I'd rather give them to someone who will use them so let's go ahead and sort these into winter and summer Okay, I just tossed over here this jacket and snow pants. We will definitely make good use of those next winter. There's lots of 3T pants. I just don't think we'll use all these. So I'm going to pick and choose a little bit. Um, some of the sweaters, I just think there's quite a few. And I just don't think that we'll use them all. Same with these pants as well. So I'm gonna probably just go through declutter and then we'll put everything into their bags. you can tell the size difference between this bag that I haven't taken the air out of yet and this one this is like half the size of this it's crazy so I'm really glad that to have these for storing purposes I can link these bags below if you're looking for something similar super nice because then you can also just like stack them on top and the set came with this pump we are back in the nursery. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use one of these bins as just a collection of stuff like newborn things. So I already have some like bottles, stuff that I know that we'll be using in the newborn stage. So I'm going to add in there our baby monitor because we just haven't used it in months. We can hear Danny just fine. And so um, I know that I'll want to use it probably soon for this baby. So I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, then I just grabbed this other bin that was up in the closet. There's just random stuff in here. This is a sleep swaddle that we didn't use because it was for a bigger size, but I'm gonna throw it in here. Some random pom-poms in there. I think those are from Danny. I'm gonna put it in here just in case we do use it. Found another changing pad, so I'm gonna actually... You okay? I'm gonna add this to like our blanket basket. This is like a car... Oh, something got on there like a car organizer thing. I'm trying to think, I don't think I need this in our car. So 
so I think we'll just leave this in here. I have a mosquito net that we got for camping when Danny was really little. I'll keep that. Um, this is a towel that we didn't use because we had another one. So what size is this? Just says one size. Oh, and there's like washcloths too. That's cute. Okay, maybe we'll use this for the second baby or I might actually open this up for Danny because we have like a smaller one that we'll probably use for the newborn stage. Have some lanolin cream. I will put that in there. Soother clip. This is one of Danny's old soothers. So we're gonna toss that. A bottle brush. I don't think I ever used a bottle brush. Um, maybe I'll keep it just in case. And then this is an attachment for our stroller. One of them broke once when we were in the airport. So we have just a random extra one. So we don't really need this. And then I'm also gonna toss in this bin. I'm gonna use this as kind of like equipment. So this is for our up seat. I'm gonna throw those in there. And then also this diaper bag strap, which I haven't used yet, but I'll hold on to it. Put that in there. exactly what this is it was just jammed in the closet um well i do know it's from where we got our crib from <laughs> i think it's kind of like a warm mattress cover but i've never used it so maybe like i'll definitely hold on to it but i don't remember if it just came with the mattress i don't think i bought it i, I really don't know so we're gonna put this away as well as this is a mattress cover which is great um, because we'll use it on our other crib mattress, which we need to get here soon. We need to find a crib and another crib mattress. So I will hold on to these, but they don't need to be taking up this real estate here in closet. So I don't know what this bag is from, but we're going to put them in here and then probably move them downstairs into storage for the time being until we get our next crib set up. There we go. Okay. There we go. This is um, like a ball pit. I'm gonna actually, I think, set this up for Danny downstairs. I had it up a couple weeks ago and then I kind of do like toy rotations. So I think he would probably get a kick out of this this week. So I'm gonna take that downstairs. And then here we have a like baby sun tent. We won't be using this for quite a while. So I'm gonna put that downstairs as well into storage. And then also our up seat. We're not using it right now. So it doesn't need to be easily accessible here in the nursery. Well, I'm thankful Silas can watch Danny for a little bit while I finish up this project. I really want to go through these bins. I have these bins from Ikea which just have clothes in them. They should be labeled, yeah. So this is all newborn clothing. So we'll be using this again soon, but I do need to vacuum seal that. Oh, I also have all of these diapers, which is awesome to use for next baby. And then I have, this is all three to six months. Oh, I can't wait to get out some of these clothes again for this baby. So I'm actually just gonna leave all that. Ugh. How do we make this work? <laughs> it's like just over the top, okay. Good enough, okay. This is actually the bin that I've just been throwing clothes in that are too small. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> this is a lot. I think I'm gonna organize them into piles and then vacuum seal those ones. <sighs> and we'll go from there. drawers to see if there's anything else these are all like summer things so i guess i can make another 12 month pile but some of this most of this still fits and we're still using i also don't fold baby clothes <laughs> it's just they don't stay folded anyways so i kind of figure what's the point all right i decided to just put six to 12 month clothing all in this large bag even though it's like some fall some summer stuff 
I think that will just be easier. And then I did find just some random articles of clothing to declutter out. Most of them just like these. I didn't love the fit of these. And then some, this one has a stain. So we will part with these. And then I also found this sleep swaddle. So I'm gonna put this in our newborn bin. And then these are 24 months. So this is just the next size up. So I actually have a spot in the dresser for like the very next size. Um, so I think I'll just put these few items in there. And you know, I really should have known, I should have thought that this massive thing would not fit in here in any way, shape or form. So I think we'll put this somewhere else. And what I think I will do is just put the very next size in this bin as I find like deals for things and thrift things for like next summer. Most of these little stuffies were gifts, so they are very special. So I'm not going to declutter any of them, except for this one, which is one that I bought when we found out we were expecting and used it in like our announcement photo. So I think I'm going to, oh, I don't know, it is cute. Maybe I will keep it, I'm not sure, undecided. Whew. Well, I'm pretty pooped, honestly. <laughs> It's a full day's work. It feels much more organized in here, much more clutter-free. Everything is just where it should be. Everything is in its home where it belongs. And it just feels good to have some of those things sort of organized, especially as we're preparing for baby number two. Now I feel like once the nesting, the nesting kicks in, we'll have kind of a clean slate to start all of those preparations. And I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe got some motivation I definitely have more decluttering to do. It is an ongoing process and so I'll probably be sharing some more videos in the future. So make sure you are subscribed if you enjoyed this one so that you can see future ones that I post here on my channel. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!